Alright, how's it going everyone and welcome to the Tomb Raider 2 demo, the Dagger of Zion, or however you pronounce it. This is a fan remake of the original Tomb Raider 2 built on the Unreal Engine 4, and I could have swore I covered this in a video prior because this demo has actually existed for quite some time. In fact, just recently it was updated. I think uh, they were originally building this on Unreal Engine 3, then they switched over to Unreal Engine 4. There are some things that they're you know working on. It's only like, uh, I think it's like only a handful of people working on this. It's, it's basically a full-blown fan remake that's got in Crystal Dynamics Blessing and all this stuff, so I'm actually quite excited to check this out. Um, I did play the original demo, I think it was like a year or two ago, it's been a little while, and I, I swear I thought I recorded it for YouTube, but I, I guess I didn't. Um, but we're going to be checking that out here today, this is a PC only, and I will leave a link to uh, download this demo if you have a PC. We're going to go to a new game here, and uh, I only went in here to basically check... I, went, I only went in here to basically check the uh, the graphical settings and make sure it's running fine, so... But yeah, you know, this is pretty interesting. Uh, this is basically the classic Tomb Raider form. This is the type of games that I grew up on. Uh, you know, Legend and all those great games. I love those games, and uh, this is sort of, uh, a, you know, a return back to that classic age, which is really cool. Just look at the way it looks. It's fantastic. Lara Croft. Yeah, I really wish that, you know, now that we're pretty much done with the, uh, you know, the Tomb Raider trilogy, the reboot trilogy, I wish that they would actually go back to this original style of gameplay for Lara Croft, because uh, I really dig this style, you know, the type of exploration, you know, type of... Uh, platforming and you have these double pistols and all that stuff it's pretty cool so uh, yeah just look at the game man i mean this is fantastic unreal engine 4 you know through and through this is something i can clearly see coming out you know in addition to pc on uh, next gen systems as well so it'd be great to have this on ps5 even ps4 and stuff i'm not sure when this game is coming out it's been in development for a very long time Ooh, a health pack. Oh, press Y. There we go. Uh, Richard Dorton. Da, 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 da. I'm not going to go into really reading these because it's just a demo. But I just want to do a playthrough for those of you guys who don't have, you know, gaming PC capable of playing it. Um, you know, I thought it, I thought it would be cool. But yeah, you know, this is. Uh, <laughs> it's funny because this is this is what Tomb Raider was to me when I was growing up. You know, I, I really got into this series with Tomb Raider Legend, and I loved, loved Tomb Raider Legend. I still do to this day. I I, I still consider it my favorite Tomb Raider game. I mean, the the first of the reboot uh, trilogies. You know, back in 2013, that was a great great game, but it was very different to what Tomb Raider was before. And I feel like it was the natural evolution of where Tomb Raider needed to go. How do you, uh, how do you sprint? Because you should be able to, before it was if you tap Y, but I'm getting acclimated to the controls here. Okay, right, it looks like right bumper is what you use to uh, swim faster, yeah. So pretty cool. I like the graphics a lot. Unreal Engine 4 is uh, really showing off its power. Push down to do... Ooh, a flare. Nice. This looks nice, man. Yeah, hold B the crouch. Yeah, so at the moment there's no release date on this. I'm not sure if this was uh, this ha was crowdfunded or what. I'm not sure, you know... What um, development is, uh, is like for this game. But thought it would be cool to kind of play through it put it out there all right so climb up here gosh it's so weird it's it's classic tomb raider controls 
I have to get used to this type of movement again. <laughs> I should do a reminiscing video on uh, the Tomb Raider games from my childhood. Legend, Anniversary, and Underworld. That was the stuff I played. Nice, nice lens flare. Alright. Uh, huh. Hold down. Wait. Do I jump away? Oh, I do. There we go. Checkpoints. Okay. There we go. Climb out of this cave. Pretty nice, man. Pretty nice. So, I'm not running the game max settings. Um, a, a lot of stuff is turned on max, but, you know, most of it is, uh, also like medium and high and stuff so the game could potentially look better than this she has the new leaning feature too Ooh, nice animations i'm trying to remember back when i played this demo myself because i didn't beat the demo it was actually fairly lengthy and uh i do plan to beat it here Yeah, so you can't climb ledges faster. You used to be able to, like, tap Y. If you just tapped Y, then she would just, uh, kind of rush ledges, but that's not happening here. So I do like the animations. It's classic, it's her classic movement, but there's, like, little touches here and there, which is kind of nice. I guess I just go up. Up and into this building. Down. There we go. Dynamic lighting. Very nice. So I'm not sure if there are collectibles or what. Huh. Is there an open window somewhere? Can't interact. Oh, go down. Oh, shit. Flare's still working underwater, huh? go. Looks like we have a puzzle here. Why? Okay, so we moved something. Lara has a journal that can help when you are stuck. Flares. Am I missing something? Oh, here we go. You have to push up. Oh, Lara's journal. Here we One go. Of the two mechanisms to open the door was destroyed. However, those beams don't look solid. Perhaps my weight would be enough to unblock the mechanism. Okay, interesting. By the way, that might be the original voice actress. Um, I forgot her name. Shelley, is it? I wonder if she uh, redid her lines or if they just casted someone else entirely. I'm not sure. Okay. Not sure if I have to go up there. One of the beams, she's saying, can I jump to these? Oh yes, I can, okay. So I can jump here, but that doesn't really get me anywhere. Can I, oh, here we go. And I can jump back, yeah. Ah, the classic rope swinging. <laughs> that was her classic animation. Yeah, this is so good. This is so good, really. Okay. Jump. Oh, just jump backwards. Okay. I don't know if I'm doing this right. <laughs> oh, oh, I guess, I guess I did. Move! All right, looks like we did it. Pretty nice. Uh, why? Ooh. Great Wall of China. Dude, look how nice this is, man. Dude, this is gorgeous. Seriously, like the lighting, your animations, I love those sunglasses. 
love the, the birds in the background. I mean, wow. Dude, this would be great. I, I really hope this gets like a full, like physical, you know, console release and all that stuff. I would love to have like a, a PS5 or a Series X copy of this game. You know, in addition to the PC release, this is really cool. I just love the attention, the detail, the quality. All right, we can sprint. Nice motion blur as well. All right. Yeah, the lighting's super impressive. Super, super impressive. Something down here, maybe? Is that dead bodies down here? It is. Oh, there's something. Oh, it's just basically notes. Oh, shit. <laughs> I like how she's not phased by it either. So many games, um, you know, with all the supernatural elements. And that's something I felt like the... I, I guess they kind of had it in the reboot trilogy, but it wasn't as fantastical as the classic games, you know? Like, you had, like, the original Tomb Raider was, like, uh, you know, Thor's hammer. Um, I'm sorry, no, that was Tomb Raider. Was it Underworld had Thor's hammer? Um, but you had, like, Natla. Oh, shit! Fucking killer crows after me. <laughs> Was not expecting that. All right, so watch out for the crows or the ravens. They uh, they will get you. Anyway, yeah, you know, a lot of those other classic games had uh, that supernatural element, and uh, I thought it really gave the games like you know that unique flair, that unique twist. And Uncharted, Uncharted had that as well. You know, like the original uh, Uncharted, and uh, Uncharted 2 and 3. Uncharted 4 was the... Ooh, a little skip there. Uncharted 4 was the only one that didn't really have that supernatural element. Damn. Alright, can we... Uh, I don't know if it's safe to drop down or... Yeah, oh god! Oh, God. <laughs> she didn't get impaled, but that looked painful. Okay, I was hoping that she would just, like, you know, grab the ledge as I walked off of it. Um, let's try this way. There we go. Uh, huh. Nice, nice volumetric effects. So, ooh, I like that. It... So if you look back, you know, you notice that she's not, like, reaching her arm, uh, meaning that she can't grab anything. That's actually a really nice touch. Can I grab that? I can. There we go. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's a nice touch. I love that. She reaches, so you know that you can uh, make it or not. Dude, I'm very impressed just by the asset quality. This looks like an official... doesn't even look like a fan remake. Fuck. <laughs> you know, this looks like an official... As if Crystal Dynamics was doing it. We can drop down now. Ooh. Yeah, that's a lot of spikes, man. Yeah, this really looks official. And I'm so happy, too. You know, Crystal Dyn Dynamics did say that... Uh, you know, that they're all on board with this remake, that they wish him luck. So, I'm glad that Square Enix and CD aren't, you know, being dicks. Could you imagine if someone was doing this to, like, Metroid or something? For, like, Nintendo? It would get shut down so fast. Alright, can we slide down? There we go. Something up there. Oh, shit. Alright, guess... Guess not. Um, hmm... Uh, can we jump in the water, maybe? Oh. I did the swan dive. Nice. <laughs> I remember that from Tomb Raider uh, Legend when I played it. If you push A, B, 
If you push A and B right before uh, she jumps, she does a swan dive. You can't just do it at any time, though. But nice. Dude, I love this level design. This is so good. The colors and everything like that. It just looks so good. 60 FPS. Man, this needs, this needs to be, like fully brought the consoles and fully released and shit it's like this and the system shock remake you know like what's going on with the system shock remake that was that was in danger of actually getting canceled at one point and then uh they got like a new back or a new uh i think someone bought the studio or something so i think it's still going on but yeah i'm just seeing if there's any collectibles or anything under here This is gorgeous. Look at those uh, water caustics. Very, very, very impressive. I don't see anything in the water. I think there might be a path uh, in the waterfall, though. Let me just explore over here. Cycle through. Oh, I can switch between my shotgun or my double pistol as well. Let's use my shotgun just in case do have limited ammo, so I'll keep that in mind. I love the foliage. Oh, shit! I kicked it! Damn. <laughs> Dude, that came out of nowhere. <laughs> I didn't even see it. Damn. Uh, how do you reload? Is it X? Yeah, X. Dude, I didn't even fucking see it. Tiger came out of nowhere. Fucking roundhouse kicked it in the face. That was good. <laughs> Ooh. We have a cave here. I could have swore I saw something about a waterfall, though. I'll check it out. Oh. Do we have multiple directions? Hold on. Nah, no, this looks like a dead end. Yeah. This is a dead end. Okay. I was going to say, like, are we having, like, some multiple paths? Be going all Deus Ex on the level design? That would be interesting. But yeah, man, I miss this classic style of Tomb Raider. You know, I, I, I know that I, I thought that the reboot trilogy was great. You know, I, I wish that Shadow of the Tomb Raider ended on a better note. I mean, that was kind of a lackluster, mediocre game. And I was really hoping it wouldn't be, but that's just how it was. They kind of like told a, bolt, a boring story. Oh, I guess I guess there's not something under the waterfall. I thought so. Oh. Hold on. Underwater, maybe? No. Oh, shit. There is? Oh, there is a... Oh, there's a cave under there. Okay, hold on. But yeah, I was really hoping for Shadow of the Tomb Raider would be just a, a really good ending, and, uh, you know, I thought, I thought they were going to do... Ooh, a key. Wow. Interesting. I thought they were going to do some type of tribute to the classic games. You know, it's amazing to me, like, the whole purpose of the reboot trilogy was to showcase how she became the Lara Croft that we knew. And I guess they kind of did that, but it's like they didn't give a story purpose behind her dual pistols at all. I mean, you would think, like, in Shadow of the Tomb Raider, she would, she would have graduated to that. I thought that scene where she just goes ballistic, where she, uh... Damn, come on, man. Fuck, dude. Kick to the face. Jeez. <sighs> anyway, I thought that scene, um, that re was it the refinery scene? How do I heal? Oh, I push, push up. Good. I thought that refinery scene where she, uh, kind of goes ballistic on everybody with that machine gun, I thought that was the perfect opportunity for you to for her to do double pistols and to show that change in the character but they didn't do that for some reason huh um that's not the way this isn't the way at all it's just uh the home for the tigers um huh i wonder where i go then looking at the paths do i go up i think i go maybe i go up towards the waterfall some platforming over there let me try this. So other than that, I'm not exactly sure. 
she won't go up here. Huh. There has to be like ledges maybe I can climb, something I'm not seeing. Everything looks so good and like so vibrant. The, the lighting's amazing, you know, it's easy to get lost looking at the world. Uh, okay. Well, I'm going to assume it's not over here, it's probably over towards the enemies. That's the logical video game mindset. Always go where there's enemies, so I'm going to assume it has to be somewhere over here. They obviously want you to fight this second tiger. Maybe there are ledges in here I just didn't see that I can grab, but I don't see anything. Um, okay, right here. Yeah, here we go. Okay. I like that. You have to look around. It's not so straightforward. You saw there in the settings when I was starting the game that you have an option to change the ledge color. You want it to appear, to appear lighter to show you where to go. Or just look, you know, more photorealistic. You can do that. Um, was it down for flare? Yeah. Ooh. Nice. What's over here? It's collectible up there. Dude, I love the music. They had to have, like, gone back and, like... I don't know if they remastered the music, like, recorded brand new tracks, or they just found, like, higher sample qualities, because, I mean, Tomb Raider 2 was the, the original PlayStation. <laughs> It's like this is like fully built from the ground up. Even the voice acting would have had to have been like a lower quality file just to compress it on the CD at that time. So this is just monumental. I can go up here, but why? Oh, there's something up there. You see that? We got, oh, ammo and health, nice. All right, we go back here and then there's something over here. So many like different areas and little paths. Oh, this is up by the waterfall. Oh, and there's something over there. Health, nice. Okay, pretty interesting. All right, looks like we got everything here. Oop, took fall damage. Nice. Yeah, man, look at this. This whole chasm, this cave, it's just gorgeous. I love the coloring. Okay, I have to slide down, then slide over there, then made it, I'll make it on that platform, so this is gonna be interesting. Jump. Jump. No! Well, she's gonna sit there and drown. <laughs> Alright, maybe I have to jump from a an earlier point. At least there's good checkpoints. Um, let's do this. There we go. Make it. Oh shit, this thing's gonna fall. Oh. Okay, cool. Yeah, this, this looks like it's gonna be a really gorgeous game in HDR. I don't think this demo supports HDR. I'm just playing on my PC monitor right now. But, uh, yeah. This is pretty cool. Let me see. I guess we go over here. One thing I will say, um, you know, I'm not playing the game with any V-Sync, but I have it in the NVIDIA, setting, NVIDIA settings for 60F. Uh, for 60 FPS, right? Um, but one thing I will say is there is a slight lag in the controls. Shit. Oh, shit. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> yeah, there is a slight, like, lag or something in the controls. I feel like I have to double tap A whenever I do want to jump, especially when I, w when I want her to go up a ledge. Um, it's not as responsive as I would like it. Shit. 
Well, that was a fail as well. <laughs> so that is one thing I do hope uh, they will take a look at. Just the controller response. Let's try this again. There we go. Alright, got a checkpoint. We're going over here. Yeah, even though I had the, the ledge coloring as light, you still have to kind of look. It's not so obvious, and I like that. It's like just enough to make you kind of curious about it, but not overly, uh, it's not so uh, blatant where you have to go. Appreciate that. Dude, I love the views. <laughs> this is beautiful. Just the textures, everything about the game is just, oh great, watch out. Uh, there we go. Oh, I kicked the freaking... <laughs> I kicked the raven. Nice. <sighs> okay, we gotta watch out for that. Also, you notice her character model? She gets, like, dirt. Like, progressively as you get through, like, the caves and, you know, you're climbing stuff, she uh, gets dirt on herself, which is pretty nice. It's just really cool little small details. Can we go that other way? I don't think we can. Yeah, we can. Alright. We made it on the other side. Another gorgeous view. It's a cool location, man. I was, uh... When did the original Tomb Raider come out? Was it 96? 97? I'm not sure. I think, uh... There was like three Tomb Raider games on the PS1. They kept releasing them year after year. How do you, uh... Oh, just why? There we go. Yeah, they kept releasing them year after year. What the fuck? It was a Black Widow. No. Now we have spiders to deal with. Ugh. So I think I must have been like three or four years old by the time this game came out. Another stutter there. Okay, that must be where we need to use our key, but I just want to check here first. here she does a uh, does a strong kick if you sprint towards someone in, in melee which is pretty cool all right let's uh use that key I guess item needed I thought I have it oh fuck I used a healing item <laughs> I'm still getting acclimated to the uh, to the systems um yeah I thought this was no. this inspect no no she says no, which I think is what she said in the original games too. I could have swore I had the uh, huh item needed. Maybe that key goes up here, or there's a different key. God, just the lighting, man, the shadow work. Everything about the game is just super high quality. It's hard to believe that this is just a fan remake. I mean, everything about it just... Press X or... Oh, R to zoom. Here we go. I need to barricade myself in. Now that I have this key... Okay, so this dude has a key. There's a key somewhere in here. Fuck! Fuck! Ugh! Hate spiders. Alright, so he has the key. There we go. <laughs> oh. There's a lot of these men. Fuck! <laughs> 
Oh my god, they're like everywhere. I love the music too, it's like a... It's like channeling Resident Evil almost, it's great. Come on, man. There's a lot right there. Alright. Definitely gotta heal after that, fuck. <laughs> Alright. Guardhouse key, that's what we want. Nice. You love the lighting, man. You gotta give them all the credit. I'm not even sure how many people are working on this game, but I mean, just look at the atmosphere. Look at the freaking atmosphere here. This is, this is fantastic. This is so awesome. Here we go. Balance, balance, balance. Um, where are we going? Where are we going? I guess we're just going straight. Damn. Uh, uh, shit. Fuck, I didn't know where to go. <laughs> so I gotta figure out a place to jump and grab as quickly as possible over there. See any? I guess there's another. Ooh, hold on. There we go. <laughs> that was a big jump too. Okay. Um. Hmm. There's different ways to go. Can I? Yeah, I can drop down. But do I want to? I don't think so. I can jump over here. There we go. Let's explore over here. Oh shit. <laughs> This is good. This is good. Oh my god, there's a... F of course. I to get a freaking spider to bite me, of course. Alright, what's... Uh, huh, I wonder if this is the way. I freaking hear them, too. The sound is awesome. You just hear, like, these little tiny footsteps come at you. I know it's, like, exaggerated, the sound, but... It's still so cool. Huh, maybe this is, uh... Yeah, that's looking like a point of no return. Hold on. I have this, I have this other key, so I'm hoping that maybe I can use it. Shit. Shit! Yeah, there's no way to gauge. You kind of have to jump, I guess, before you get to the ledge when you have close, uh... Close, uh... You know, objects, I guess. This is actually good. This works in my favor. There we go. Alright, so what's over here? Yeah, this is a dead end, but is there... Okay. There is another path. Man, look look at this. Fantastic. I love the tessellation on the ground. Aha! It was where my key went. Nice. What do I get though? A checkpoint. Oh shit, there's something over there. Like a, an artifact or something. Um I have a feeling I'm gonna have to run. Dude, this is a trap. <laughs> this is a trap of some sorts. It's like a special relic or something. You have found a secret. There are three secrets for each level, and, and if you collect all three, you'll be rewarded. There are two secrets in this demo. Okay, interesting. That's awesome, man. I fucking knew it. There's sound. I fucking knew it. There's sound. I'm telling you, man, this is a trap. Classic Tomb Raider. Oh, I knew it. Oh, my God. Um... I knew it. Run. Run. Nope. Run. 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 Oh my god. <laughs> I tried going as fast as I could.
At least the game has good checkpoints. Alright, so I'm gonna have to, like, just scurry along as fast as possible. Alright, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Run. Okay. I made it. <laughs> That's cool. I like that. in here. Man, this is a long demo. There's a lot of content here. This ain't like those AAA demos that are like, you know, 20 minutes. Actually, they don't really give you demos anymore. <laughs> back back in the early 360 and uh, PS3 days, you download these demos and, uh, and those would be a lot of fun, especially when you were a kid, you couldn't afford anything. Oh my, off of me. Fuck off of me. Fuck. Fuck it. Get off of me. Fuck. <laughs> uh, there's somewhere over there too. It looks like maybe. There we go. Yeah, what's over here? Is it just a dead end? Nope, there's something. Two flares, nice. All right, I'm gonna heal. I like the exploration. It's like, e there's a lot of dead ends, but every single dead end so far has always had a some item of some kind. All right, I think we're good. <laughs> All right, what's, uh, what's over here? I guess we have to drop down. Drop down. Oh, there's a cave over here, okay. Well, I'm just really taken aback by the atmosphere. It's, it's flawless. I mean, geez, this is, this is something else. Oh, there's an item. Um, hmm. It's over here? Maybe so. Just an item? Which means I would have to drop down in order to progress, I think. So, where am I dropping down? Oh, I see. Right here. Okay. Going deeper. Wow. Wow. Okay, I think we're definitely in the right place. Look at this. This is this is awesome. <laughs> Yeah, you know what I really appreciate about these old school Tomb Raider games? Um, there was a slight horror element to them. And the fact that, you know, here you are playing this badass of a woman, but she's all alone exploring these caves. You know, there is no backup. And so it was like the silence of everything is, uh, it, it's kind of unsettling, you know? This is awesome. Beautiful shadows. Alright. Looks like we're trying to get this door open, maybe. So there must be some type of mechanism. Definitely a puzzle for us to solve. I think I have to go over here, then jump on that column and get to the top floor, so let me do that now. Yeah, here we go. Oh, she almost didn't make that. Alrighty. 
Oh, move this boulder. There we go. <laughs> I remember. Dude, this is giving me such flashbacks. All these puzzles where you'd have to move these objects. This is great. Man, I really miss these classic these classic Tomb Raider games like this. It's just fun. And the puzzles are always interesting. It's not some annoying shit where it's like, oh, you know, like I, I played like a lot of games recently where it's like, oh, move, move the light fixtures. Like I was playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla. That's the game I'm playing right now. And, and I have to move these light fixtures in order to get this thing open. I'm just like, it's just stupid. It's just stupid and annoying. <laughs> Bounce the lighting across the room. It's like, I really appreciated this, these old school. Here we go. These old school uh, opening new pathways. Ways. All right. Well, we got the door open. Is there another way down? Can we? Oh, it's closed from the other side. Huh? Really? There has to be a way to open it then. I wonder if we. Uh, Maybe we have to do that later. I hear a spider. Either that or I'm just hearing things. What's down here? Oh shit, hold on. Is there a way to drop the flare? There we go. I think death is down there. I don't think that there's a single thing down there. I'm looking for like a grab a grabable ledge. And there is nothing. So I think this is just a, a bit of a trap, to be honest. Nice that you can drop flares though. I like that. Yeah. Shh. Is there any way forward right there? I'm not seeing anywhere to grab, so okay. Let's just go down. That's the third floor. Alrighty, here we are. Huh. We have a journal icon, so hold on. She must have something to say. It would have been way too simple to find a sumptuous red carpet behind this door. On the other hand, the water seems to have weakened certain parts of the chamber. Despite the fact I don't like to destroy these kinds of ruins, I don't have much choice other than to use them to open a passage to the lower floors. If only I would brought my grapple. <laughs> the grapple from Legend was awesome. All right. Um, hmm. Okay, so we have to find a way to flood, is basically what she's saying. So that means, I think it has something to do with that third floor up there. There has to be an alternate route. Something I'm not seeing. Let's see, if I go over here... I don't see anything. Damn. Did not mean to, uh, did not think she was going to take that much damage. Alright. Huh. The only other way, but I really think it's a dead end, is where I dropped that flare. That's the only, like, alternate I'm thinking of, because everywhere else we've gone through... Damn. <laughs> yeah, everywhere else we've gone through. So, unless we use this block here. Hold on. Maybe we use this block for something else to get higher. I don't see a way. Well, maybe over there. It would make sense to use this block for somewhere else because, you know, why would you have this thing here just to unblock a route? 
So that's the furthest it can go. can't do the wall jumps in this one just making sure that is the only thing that makes sense to me is to use that big boulder to go somewhere but I'm not finding where maybe something up here I wasn't seeing ah oh, I don't have any flares fuck I used that last flare up here. Flare up here. This is a checkpoint area. Okay. All these windows are barred up and inaccessible. This is locked. Hmm. I'm a bit stumped, actually. Um, alright, time to take a chance. The only alternate possible route I can see is down here. Oh, and there's spikes. Like I expected there to be. Okay. Alright, so, I graduated from incompetent to dumbass. Um, you can actually re-interact with this, which would put the, um, the chandelier down, so... I cut that part out because you guys don't need to see me for the last 10 minutes doing nothing. <laughs> I was like, I knew there's something else you could do here. There has to be. Okay, and then from here we can use this um, get on top of it. Get on top of it. You should be able to. There we go. I can climb onto these. Nice. Um, hmm. The question is where to go. I'm gonna go over here. Let's chest this way. Nice. You can't you can't rush ledges anymore. Like I'm holding down right bumper, she doesn't really go any faster. It used to be you would just keep pressing Y. But no. All right. Um, you know what's interesting is that there's another way to go over there. Um, so if this is the way, which it might be. Here we go. So now we unlock that door, which is great. This is what we want to do. Because um, then I have to lower this again. And then I can, once that goes up, I can then go over here and jump on top of it, which is awesome. But I actually don't want to do that um, right now. What I want to do is go the other way, because if you remember, this demo had two secrets. So I want to see if the other way is where the secret is. Um, hmm. Hold on. I can't... Okay. Because see, look, it's over there. So I'm curious over there. So I'm curious about something. I guess we're just gonna have to test it out and see. Great, okay. So now let's go over here. Go over here. Uh, looks like there is a way up here. It's just gonna be a little bit interesting. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if this is a correct path or what, but... No! I didn't want it. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, look. There's uh, maybe some flares over there. <laughs> okay. I'm going to see if I can get up on that other ledge. Nice. This still remains open, so that's good. All right. So we'll go over here, right? Because I can't 
Can I go over here? Oh, I can. Oh, then I can just shimmy around. Hold on. I should be able to just shimmy around then. Yeah. Okay, now I got it. I was over overcomplicating it before. There we go. Now from here we go up and then up one more time. And over. Go over here. Wow. Here. Wow. Huh. Okay, now I have a different theory. Maybe this isn't where you go to get inside this area. Maybe that's how you get on top of the chandelier from before. Okay, hold on. Now I'm just super overcomplicating it. Go back up here. We'll put the chandelier up. We might have to shimmy across to the other side. And that's how we get on top of it. Is that way. Yeah, because you can't do anything there. So now you're stuck. Unless you go all the way around and get on top of that beam. Got it. To do. Okay, now we go up, now we go up again, and now we go over here. There we go, now we can reach this. I see. Oh shit. Aha, now we can. Aha, uh -huh. now we can push the boulder. Oh, we can push the boulder down, which would break the floor. Okay, got it. So this we can just push over. And this should break the floor, I guess, and that's how we progress. Boom! Nice! See, that was pretty complex. You had to figure everything out. You had to use the chandelier to your advantage, shimmy around. I like that. Oh, let me get those flares that are over here before we go down. Here they are. Nice. Four flares. Awesome. Okay, we have to go down from over here. I guess we'll just drop down again. Nope, I guess not. <laughs> I could have swore that was a ledge, but it might just been the reflection from the uh, from the wetness of the wall there. No checkpoint. Do the whole puzzle again. Yeah, right. <laughs> Did it save the flares I picked up? All right, let's drop down, drop down. Now we, can we go over there? We can. Okay, go over here, drop. We're playing this really ominous almost bizarre music. <laughs> uh, there's nowhere for her to jump, so is there... I can't go down one more, I guess. That's what it looks like. Because if I drop here, there's nowhere for her to grab, so I must have to drop here. Alright. There we go. Okay. Drop. Huh. To make it over there. 
these angle jumps are a bit weird to me because uh, she didn't have animations like that. Like in Legend, it was, you know, pretty much just if it's not straight on, then can't make it. All right, I'm gonna and then drop from this side and we'll drop here. Great, awesome. Cool, made some good progress there. Can she make that? I guess she's gonna have to. Jeez, that's a big jump. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh f What? Was that intentional? Oh shit. To be continued, alright, that's the end. Alright. Well man, I had a lot of fun. This is awesome. This is so cool. Yeah, maybe they did rescore the music. I'm not sure if that's a. Uh, the original composer, but... Yeah, this is awesome, man. This is... This feels to me like an official, like, AAA recreation, a remake of, you know, Tomb Raider 2. And just, like, the quality level of it is fantastic, you know? It looks great, it plays great. Again, there's some little bit of input lag I'm, I noticed when I'm playing it, but... You know, again, all that can be solved in like a patch. Yeah, look, see, Crystal Dynamics is actually giving them sound effects source files. Okay. So they're fully on board. I, I really like this. So what is that? Five people? Five people working on this game. It's been in development for a very long time, but, uh, you know, just uh, to have a new demo, you know, and this demo came out, or I should say this updated version of the demo came out. Um, only like a couple weeks ago, so it's it's fresh, you know, they're still working on the game. So just to see that is fantastic. And look at that, you're gonna have Croft Manor back, oh my god. If they manage to actually put, I mean, obviously, you know, they're working on it, otherwise it wouldn't be here, but just to have Croft Manor back, I mean, especially you, you younger folk, Croft Manor was fan- Especially you, you younger folk, Croft Manor was fantastic. Essentially, after you beat the game, you got to explore Lara's giant mansion, Croft Manor, <laughs> and there were puzzles to solve and collectibles to get. I loved spending so many hours in that after I beat these games. That's something, again, that was missing from the reboot trilogy. It's like, why couldn't they have done that? They have a Croft Manor level in Shadow of the Tomb Raider, but it's kind of shitty. <laughs> it's a flashback sequence. Man. Anyway, yeah, I, I, I loved it. This is this is great. I, I really hope it does come to fruition, and I hope it gets like a full physical release on consoles. If not, at least like digitally. I just hope that it becomes available to a lot, you know, a lot wider of an audience. Because a lot of people aren't going to have PCs that are capable of running Unreal Engine 4 games. You know, totally get it. This is awesome. Yeah, really loved it. So hope you guys enjoyed the playthrough. Thank you all for checking it out with me. And uh, like I said, uh, if you want to try this out for yourself, I'm going to leave a download link below in the description of this video just so you can uh, test it out for yourself and uh, give me your thoughts on what you saw. And if you played it, let me know what you guys think. Have a good one.